Hello, this is Patrick Liu again and welcome back to my video tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to insert some text and images into the index page. Now to do that let's go to Composer to open up the index page. Okay now I'm in my uh, desktop here let's go and open Composer and double click on this icon here. Close the tips window now to open up our index page, go to the File tab at the top. Click on here, scroll down to the Open File option here. Now as you can see, we are in the Test Project folder. Now in this folder, we have Index Page as well as an Image folder. Now I've copied the Image folder here just to save time. Right? So let's uh, open up the Index page by clicking on the Index file here. Okay, the index file is now open in Composer. The first thing we need to do is to insert the header into the first row of the table here. Okay, let's do it by going to the image icon, clicking on it. Next, in the image property box, go to this small folder, click on it. Now, in this image folder, we have four images which I prepared for this index uh, page. So, let's insert the header by clicking on it. Now, as you can see this uh, header image is now in the preview window here and let's uh, give a description to the alternate text. So we call it header. Now click OK. As you can see the header is now inserted into the index page. Now next we are going to insert some images and text into the body of the index page. Now to do that let's go to my notepad. Huh? Now we are here in my notepad where I have prepared some contents for the web page to save time for this video tutorial. Now we are going to copy the first three lines of the text. Right? So to do that highlight, right click and select the copy option. Now we go back to Composer and we click Ctrl V. You can see it is now pasted inside here. Now let's highlight the first line of text and as you can see now the text is in the center of the uh, table so we can actually choose to have it aligned to the right or we can choose here to align to the left. But I still prefer the text to be in the middle. Now next I'm going to select a font for this header or this heading rather okay so I click on here I'm going to choose a very popular font which is used mostly for heading it's called Tahuma okay now I'm going to enlarge text size huh? I click here and enlarge it okay I think it's good enough. So now we want to change the color of the text. So we go to this option here, choose color for text. Click on it and in this window you will see all the colors here. Choose the color that you would like to use. I will choose red and click OK. So you have your text uh, for the heading in red. Now for this subheading, I'm going to highlight it and I'm also going to choose the Tahuma font. Okay, click on Tahuma and I'm going to enlarge the text which I think, okay, I think that's good enough. Now I'm not going to change the color of the text, right? I'll, I'll leave it as black. Then for the third line of text, I'm going to highlight it and then the, go to choose a font here. Now I'm going to use Arial. Okay, Arial. Okay, I'm going to make the text bigger. Okay, now I'm going to change the color for this free report. Okay, to red. So I click on the red color here, click OK, and I'm also going to bold it to make it more prominent. Next, I'm going to insert some uh, images and text, right? So I'm going to insert the image towards the left hand side of the squeeze page. So 
now let me click on the image icon here then click on the small folder and then in my image folder I'm going to choose the ebook image right click on the ebook image and then in the alternate text I'm going to use call this one ebook right click OK now the ebook is uh, now inserted on the left hand side of the index page now I need to save all the works I've done so far let's go to the save uh, button here and click on it now let's go and see how our index page looks right so we go to the browse button here where you can preview this page in your browser okay and now in this window click the launch application okay now you can see how your web page looks you have a header here and a heading subheading uh, some text and of course the image of the ebook over here now let's stop this video as I do not want to be too long as it can be very overwhelming for you to digest and I'll continue inserting the text and images in the next video so I will see you there in my next video so thank you very much for spending time with me in this video and bye bye